This tutorial will explain the smart sensor automation functions High Speed Counter A71 and Timer A70. In the first demonstration we would like to show the High Speed Counter automation function. As hardware we are using a SIG retroreflective sensor with A71 High Speed Counter automation function on board which is connected via C-Link 2 master to a PC. As interface SOPUS 3.0 is used. Open the counter tab in SOPUS in order to adjust the counter function. In the upper area of the counter tab the current counter values as well as the switching outputs are displayed. In the center the counter settings are done. The lower area is used for setting debouncing values. The debouncing settings will be explained in the A70 timer tutorial. If an object like this is taken and then moved through the light spot the sensor detects the bars. This is displayed in the SOPUS interface. A movement of the object will result in detecting six bars. Just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. This can happen slow or fast. The sensor reliably counts the bars. The sensor currently has the following settings. The comparator value low is set to 5, so the switching output Q1 is triggered as soon as this value is exceeded. If the counter is reset by clicking on Reset Counter and then the object is moved slowly, the output is activated on the sixth bar. The comparator value high is set to 11, so the output on bit 1 is high as soon as this value is exceeded. The current logic function is direct. If this is changed to window, a windowing function is applied. With the current settings, changing logic 1 to window will result in Q1 being high between 6 and 11 and low below 6 and above 11. Like this, a window is generated. For the following example, the logic function is changed back to direct. The current counter mode is up, so the sensor is counting upwards. Changing this to down will result in counting down. There is the option to preset the counter. This can either be done manually by clicking on Preset Counter or automatically when a certain value is reached. To show this, we will change the counter mode back to Up, enable the Preset mode and set the preset value to 1. Now the sensor is automatically set back to 1 as soon as the comparator value high is exceeded. The Q1 is active again when the comparator value low is exceeded. For this example, the comparator value high is changed to 6 and comparator value low to 5. Now the sensor is given a high signal when the 6 bar has been detected. The output Q1 stays high until the first bar of the next object is detected. The first bar presets the counter value to 1. For this example, the counter is reset to 0 by clicking in the software on Reset Counter. This reset can also be done with an external trigger signal. This will be shown in a few moments. Now the object is moved under the light spot and the counter is automatically reset to 1 and counts up to 6 with each and every object. The switching output can be combined with different timer modes. In order to add such a timer mode, click on Monitoring and then add either an On, Off, On-Off delay or one shot. As an example, a one shot is selected. The timer is set at 500 milliseconds. If the object is moved again now, the switching output 1 stays high only for 500 milliseconds. One of the advantages is that this I.O. link sensor can be removed from the I.O. link network and plugged into a standard I.O. network. The settings of the sensor stay the same as they have been configured before. In this example, the switching output is activated after 6 bars. To show this, the sensor is now removed and connected to a standard power supply. To make sure that the setting is at zero, it is reset by the external trigger. As soon as the sensor detects 6 bars, the output of the sensor is high. In order to do the reset with an external sensor, the trigger is removed and an additional sensor is connected. For this example, a WTB sensor is connected. When this sensor provides a high signal, the counter is reset to zero. 
This works, of course, in a standard I.O. environment as well as within an I.O. link network.